Hi, hello and welcome you all to Mother Teresa Learning Center. Pharmacognosy in 5 minutes series பார்த்துட்டுருக்கும் அதில் இன்னிக்கான விடியோ Factors Affecting Cultivation of Crude Drugs. So, natural பார்த்தீங்க அப்படினா, roadsideலியே plants நரிய வலருது. இல்லியா? So, யார்மே வந்து தண்ணி உத்தாமே, அதுவே வலர் plants நரிய இருக்கு. But, என்னதார்ந்தாலும் நாம் cultivation ஓனும் பண்ணும். There are certain plants that grows randomly over the roadside. Okay? But still, we want to go for cultivation. Why? What is the reason? The first reason is, we need regular supply of crude drugs. Okay? Uh, for marketing. And uh, for the medicinal value also, you need regular supply of the raw materials, right? So, if you want to export pepper, you need a regular supply of pepper. For that, regular supply. And one more reason is, in cultivation only, you get the maximum amount of active constant. Because in cultivation, you will follow all the parameters properly. So that the plants will grow with the full active constituents properly. Okay? So, what is the main disadvantage talking is uh, cost okay, and labor. Uh, nowadays, all the agricultural implements and the other soil supplements uh, rates are getting hiked. Okay? And the laborers also charging high. And because of this seasonal unemployment problem, the people are shifting from agriculture to other urban related jobs. So, these are some of the disadvantages faced in cultivation. But still, whatever they say, you have to do cultivation. At the end of the day, you need food for your survival. For that, you need cultivation. So, what are the basic factors affecting cultivation of crude drugs. These are the factors. Altitude, temperature, humidity, rainfall irrigation, soil and soil fertility, fertilizers, pests and pest control. Since I have only 5 minutes, I could not explain all these uh, factors. I will explain the first four. First one is altitude. Some plants love to grow in the taller region. Some plants love to grow in the short distance from the sea level. Some plants are very small in the sea level. Some plants are very small in the sea level. Now, if you look at the sea level, it's 1000 to 2000 meters. So, if you try to cultivate it below that, the sea level may grow. But the proper active constituent and the morphological nature of the sea level may go down. Okay. Same cardamom 600 to 1600 meter is optimum. Don't go down, don't go up. So the level should be maintained. This is what altitude. Altitude plays a major role. And temperature how it plays. Some are really growing in extremely hot temperature also. Some will grow in extremely cold temperature. I have given two examples tea and coffee where tea grows at 70 to 90 degree Fahrenheit. Coffee 55 to 70 degree Fahrenheit. So the same case, how I explained in altitude, either we have to go up or go up or go up or go up. In the 70s, there is a degree Fahrenheit in the 70s. Next one is humidity. What is humidity? What is humidity? The amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere. How do you have to go up and go up? Now, if you look at the camp and coffee, you have to go up. Frost. If you have to go up, the crops will get spoiled soon. Okay? Whereas, Saffron love to grow in the cold atmosphere. That is why it is preferred to grow in Jammu and Kashmir kind of regions. And Pyrethrum grows in very hot weather. Even the sun is very hot like uh, in the case of summer. Okay. In that time also Pyrethrum will grow well. Okay. So humidity also plays a major role like altitude and temperature. And the fourth one is rainfall and irrigation. Uh, you know that without rain, no grain. Right. So rainfall plays a major parameter. But still there are some plants that grows even in the absence of rainfall. Example, xerophytes, uh, open shea, cactus, aloe vera, these kind of species grows very very well uh, even there is lack of rainfall. Okay, And whereas some are highly water demanding crops, example rice, there is a statement saying that if a small one grain of rice comes to the plate of you, it consumes nearly 4 liters of water, that much water it consumes. So, rainfall or irrigation. If there is no rainfall in that cultivation time, you should preserve the water and irrigate your land properly so that the cultivation will be proper. Okay? These four parameters you make sure in your mind. That is altitude, temperature, humidity and fourth one is rainfall plays a major role. And the other very major parameters are soil and soil fertility. Fertilizers, pest and pest control. These things we will discuss in the next video. Since uh, most of the viewers are from other parts, they want this pharmacognosy video to be done in the English. So I made it most of the uh, statements in English. The Tamil medium students or those who cannot able to understand this, kindly leave your message. I will try to solve your doubts. Learning today for a better tomorrow.